chapter 27. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Now, son of man, take up a lamentation for Tyre, and say to Tyre, You who are situated at the entrance of the sea, merchant of the peoples on many coastlands, thus says the Lord God, O Tyre, you have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your borders are in the midst of the seas, your builders have perfected your beauty. They made all your planks of fir trees from Sinir. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make you a mast. Of oaks from Bashan they made your oars. The company of Asherites have inlaid your planks with ivory from the coasts of Cyprus. Fine embroidered linen from Egypt was what you spread for your sail. Blue and purple from the coast of Elisha was what covered you. Inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your oarsmen. Your wise men, O Tyre, were in you. They became your pilots. Elders of Gebal and its wise men were in you to caulk your seams. All the ships of the sea and their oarsmen were in you to market your merchandise. Those from Persia, Lydia, and Libya were in your army as men of war. They hung shield and helmet in you. They gave splendor to you. Men of Arvad with your army were on your walls all around. And the men of Gamad were in your towers. They hung their shields on your walls all around. They made your beauty perfect. Tarshish was your merchant because of your many luxury goods. They gave you silver, iron, tin, and lead for your goods. Javon, Tubal, and Meshech were your traders. They bartered human lives and vessels of bronze for your merchandise. Those from the house of Togarmah traded for your wares with horses, steeds, and mules. The men of Didan were your traders. Many isles were the market of your hand. They brought you ivory, tusk, and ebony as payment. Syria was your merchant because of the abundance of goods you made. They gave you for your wares emeralds, purple embroidery, fine linen, corals, and rubies. Judah and the land of Israel were your traders. They traded for your merchandise wheat of minneth, millet, honey, oil, and balm. Damascus was your merchant because of the abundance of goods you made, because of your many luxury items, with the wine of hellbone and with white wool. Dan and Javon paid for your wares, traversing back and forth. Wrought iron, cassia, and cane were among your merchandise. Dedan was your merchant in saddle claws for riding. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar were your regular merchants. They traded with you in lambs, rams, and goats. The merchants of Sheba and Reama were your merchants. They traded for your wares the choicest spices, all kinds of precious stones and gold. Haran, Kana, Eden, the merchants of Sheba, Assyria, and Kilmad were your merchants. These were your merchants in choice items, in purple clothes, in embroidered garments, in chests of multicolored apparel, in sturdy woven cords which were in your marketplace. The ships of Tarshish were carriers of your merchandise. You were filled and very glorious in the midst of the seas. Your oarsmen brought you into many waters, but the east wind broke you in the midst of the seas. Your riches, wares, and merchandise, your mariners and pilots, your caulkers and merchandisers, all your men of war who are in you and the entire company which is in your midst will fall into the midst of the seas on the day of your ruin. The common land will shake at the sound of the cry of your pilots. All who handle the oar, the mariners, all the pilots of the sea will come down from their ships and stand on the shore. They will make their voice heard because of you. They will cry bitterly and cast dust on their heads. They will roll about in ashes. They will shave themselves completely bald because of you, gird themselves with sackcloth, and weep for you with bitterness of heart and bitter wailing. In their wailing for you they will take up a lamentation and lament for you. What city is like Tyre, destroyed in the midst of the sea? When your wares went out by sea, you satisfied many people. You enriched the kings of the earth with your many luxury goods and your merchandise. But you are broken by the seas and the depths of the waters. Your merchandise and the entire company will fall in your midst. All the inhabitants of the isles will be astonished at you. Their kings will be greatly afraid, and their countenance will be troubled. The merchants among the people will hiss at you. You will become a horror, and be no more forever.